Now, if you were to tell me that after three days of messing with Don't Starve Together's newest update to Terrors Below, uh, that water falling from the ceiling would be the most intriguing thing to me, I would have called you a madman. As I mean, it's just toxic rain that drains stuff, right? Some stuff counters it, there's a bit of nuance here and there, and then there's really no reason to cover it anymore as we've kind of discussed it all, right? Wrong. Oh, so very wrong. And thanks to our resident co-dweller Nico, well, we can start with just how wrong we really are. For you see, of all things down here, here, battleists get a buff when squirted with the stuff. Their eyes begin to glow yellow. They begin to deal 30 damage over their original 20. Their attack speed even increases, and the drop rates for all three of their own loots double. Why? It's a great question, but it's a thing, all right, as is this. Wormwood players bloom under the influence of acid rain now. Now, don't take this to believe that Wormwood will now not be taking damage here, because they will. Well, but they can reach full bloom all the same by just being in the rain for a few seconds, and that's neat stuff. And while both of those things are indeed the big elusive notes I wanted to share today, I will say that I myself didn't even notice how waterproofness itself impacts the health drain of acid rain until filming this very video, so keep that pen and paper handy. I found that wearing a straw hat had me losing one health every 8 to 9 seconds with a low intensity rain, jumping to a mid range with the same intensity of rain mind, saw that very timer climb to 20 seconds which seems to translate well enough I feel, and lastly, an item with full protection from the rain will see no health drain at all which is nice, but that does come at the cost of a rapidly deteriorating item of course. Still, there are more counters to this stuff than we originally thought, and that's the point here. But now let us talk about and refine the stuff we already know, yes, acid rain technically doesn't increase our wetness levels, but that's actually a lie. In the background, the game checks on the intensity of the rainfall and gives us players and some other stuff an acid component that dictates just how intense certain drains are going to be. For example, a very light drizzle could very well see only one health tick every 30 seconds, while a much heavier downpour speeds that up significantly to a one health tick every two second scenario. Oh yes, don't let the cool stuff and seemingly easy counters fool you. Acid rain here is still very dangerous. And speaking of those potential solutions, another rather interesting note in all of this is that while the rain will drain every single headgear minus a thulecite ground, it only targets chest gear that provides waterproofness and nothing more. Why? Once again, that's a good question. And once again, all I can tell you is that it's a thing. A thing that gets far worse the more intense the rain too, which should come as no surprise. But something that is kind of surprising to me is how the new Void Gear is indeed immune to this very durability drain we've been mentioning, and yet we and the food still take damage. The food thing makes sense, I guess, but if we are literally wearing stuff that is not impacted, then how are we impacted, do you know what I mean? No, no, no. Apparently, the one and only counter is still the umbrella here, as with it, every quick drain ends, including the food spoilage timer. And as an added bonus, the item itself actually regenerates its own durability when used under an acid rain. It's good stuff. And yes, while we have been implying it, let us finish this up by confirming that all perishables, including handbats and fun caps mind, spoil faster in this rain, with them doing so almost stupidly fast if said rain gets bad. So yeah, I think it's springs down here are gonna be awful if things do not get stored properly. Unless you like Niter, that is, as one final acid rain mechanic is its ability to turn all ponds in the Niter formations ready to be mined for four chunks of the stuff whenever you want. Renewability is great, so we'll take it. Just like we'll take normal rains anytime there isn't a shadow rift in play following an ancient fuel weaver's death, and offering a five dreadstone to the new beckoning hands following the fight and a visit from the one and only Shadow Queen herself, Charlie. Oh, and a five day wait after this, but come on now, it's freaking Charlie in game people. And there you have it everyone, a quick overview of Acid Rain here in the caves and its sneaky mechanics in the Terrors Below update for Don't Stop Together. They're sneaky enough to lead me to believe that Clay might just tweak one or two more things down here once the water hits the floor, but we shall see. Thanks for watching folks, well wish to all, you might want to keep your mouth closed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.